Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Now let's solve this problem. In this problem it is said that determine the forces and members CG and GH and we will use the method of sections to solve this, pro this particular problem, right? So now first of all we will find the reactions at the supports, right? So let's say that there are two reactions at A since it's a pin joint so there will be a reaction in the y direction and there will be a reaction in the x direction right let's say this is ax and this is our x and y direction right so since here is a roller so there will be only one support reaction so this is fy now we want to find uh, these reactions so let's say if we want to if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero so as we can see that only ax is acting in the x direction in the in the positive x direction so we will write that ax equals to 0 so this means that there is no reaction along the x at a right so we will remove this ax is equal to 0 and now if we apply the summation of moment about point f equals to 0 right so this is that point f so and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this ay is producing the clockwise moment about this point f so we will write minus ay and it is said that all of these panels have length of three meters right so this is three three and three so there are seven panels right from a to f so the perpendicular distance of this ay from that point f is how much so it is 7 times 3 so this is 21 so we will write 21 ay this is the perpendicular distance right now as we can see that this 12 kilo newton force is producing the counterclockwise moment about point f so we will write plus 12 and the perpendicular distance of this 12 kilo newton force from that point f is 1 2 3 4 so this is 4 panels so 4 into 3 is 12 right similarly again this 12 kN force is producing counterclockwise moment so we will write plus 12 and its distance perpendicular distance from that point f is 3 into 3 right so this is 9 and this will be equal to 0 so now we can write a y is equal to this will cancel out with this one right and we will be left with 12 kN right so this means that a y is 12 kilo newton right and similarly if we want to find fy so then we can apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so now uh, this if we consider this as the a positive direction right so then a y is acting in the positive direction so we will write a y this is minus 12 a and then minus 12 right so minus 12 minus 12 and this is plus f y and this will be equal to 0 and since we know that a y is 12 kilo newton right so this 12 will cancel out so then this means that f y is also equal to 12 kilo newton right now since we are solving this problem by method of section and we are asked to determine the forces and member c g and g h right so this is this one is c g and this one is g h right so we have to pass our cutting section our imaginary cutting section from cg and gh right so let's say that this is my cutting section right and if we consider this side this left hand side right so this is that cutting section that we will be considering right and i have passed that cutting section from this cd cg and gh right so then if we draw the free body diagram of that left hand part of this uh, truss so then we will have that sec this part right this will be that free body diagram so this will be the cd force this one will be the this is cg right so we will write that this is cg and this is gh member force right and we are required to find this cg and this gh right and now we will draw that ay reaction which is equal to 12 kilo newton right now since this cg is making some angle here so we need to find this theta right so all of these angles are same right all of these angles are thetas right so now we can find this theta by using any of these triangles right so this length is 3 and this length is 4 this is given right 
So now we can find this angle by using tan theta. So if I write tan theta will be equal to, so this is the perpendicular, so this will be 3 divided by 4 or we can write that theta is tan inverse 3 divided by 4, so this will give us that theta. So theta equals to 36.87 degrees, right? So this means that this CG is making uh, 36.87 degrees angle with this uh, CH member or with the vertical, right? Now, if I apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0, right? So, now as we can see that this a y is acting in the positive direction, right? If we consider that this is our positive direction, so this a y is acting in the positive direction, so I will write plus 12. This 12 kN is acting in the negative direction, so I will write minus 12, right? And the component of this CG is acting in the negative direction, right? If we consider the component of this CG, so this CG has one component like this, right? And it is acting in the negative direction, and this is the cos component, right? So we can write that this is minus CG cos of theta, and theta is 36.87 degrees, and this will be equal to 0. So, now as we can see that this is 12 minus 12, so this is 0. So, we can write that minus Cg cos of 36.87 degrees is equal to 0. So, from this we can say that Cg equals to 0 kilonewton, right? Or Cg is equal to 0, right? So, this means that the force in Cg member is 0, right? So, we can, we can eliminate this Cg member. We we can assume that CG member is not existed anymore, right? So, now we are left with these unknown forces, right? Now, to find GH, since CG is 0 and now we want to find this GH. So, now as we can see that this GH is passing through this H and CD is passing through this point C and this point B and since the magnitude of this CD is not known, so now we we will apply such condition we will apply a such moment condition right uh, that that will that will eliminate this cd member force since it is unknown right so now if i apply the summation of moment about point c equals to 0 right so since this cd is passing through that point c so in our calculation we have eliminated this CD by calculating the moment about point C, right? And we are interested to find this GH member force, right? So now if we apply the summation of uh, moment about point C equals to zero, so this will give us that GH member force which is required in this particular problem, right? So if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive, so now as we can see that this GH is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point C, so we will write gh and the perpendicular distance of this gh from that point c is 4 meters right this is given so we will write that this is plus 4 gh right and now as we can see that this 12 kN force is also passing through that point c so it will not produce the moment about that point c and as we can see that this ay is producing the clockwise moment about that point c so we will write minus ay and the perpendicular distance of this Ay from that point C is these three panels, right? So, this is 3 plus 3 plus 3, right? So, this is how much? This is 9, right? So, we will write 9 and this will be equal to 0. And since we know the Ay magnitude which is 12, so we can write that this is 12. So, from this GH equals to 12 into 9 divided by 4. So, this is 4, this is 3, 3 into 9 is 27 kilo Newton, right? And as we can see that GH is acting away from this point H, so this means that this is the tension force, right? So, as we were required to find CG member force, so it is 0 and GH member force is 27 kilo Newton, right? So, this is the solution of this particular problem.